Hello guys, welcome back to another special Eat Ball Pool video. Now this video is a very different kind of video. You heard the title correctly. Today I will show you how you guys can make 600 cash without using any cheats and without using any hacks. Now before you ask me, Mustard, where did you get this account with the Pool Fanatic Q? Well, long time ago, Eat Ball Pool, Miniclip official Facebook page and official group were giving away a free Pool Fanatic Q. So my friend from Medina he's a good friend of mine he made few accounts for me and he gave me one so here this account is and this account was sitting an idol so I thought why not I show you everybody how you can actually make free head pool cash so before we begin this video guys give it a thumbs up to this guy Peter first opponent in this account and I think he's not the first opponent actually he's the second opponent and uh, well yes so the trick is very very simple but remember guys this trick is not for new eight pool players you will need a lot of skill and a lot of luck and a lot of passion for this game if you are somebody who gives up very quickly who gets frustrated when he loses his coins then i'm afraid this video is not for you so please just stop the video and leave now since you are watching and since you want to know exactly how I do it and how is it possible so as you can see we just played now the first part of this trick is that when you have a new account it can also work with any queue you have not just the pool fanatic queue or any special queue but I do recommend that you make a small purchase get a nice queue for yourself because when you make a small purchase you get a nice queue and the recharge value of that queue is very less so that means you can make more and more coins by losing less coins when recharging I hope you got what I meant so in the beginning we completed some few daily missions and they also give you some very very important coins so I kept on playing so like I said the first part of going to 600 cash or how many cash you want is that to get to level 20 and you must have a minimum of 2 million coins if you have more it's good if you have less well then this trick is not gonna work for you so we start from level 2 or level 3 we go all the way to level 20 and the goal is to collect 2 million coins because I'll tell you why because after level 20 the real fun begins of collecting cash every single week. I was very lucky not to lose a lot of games and I was getting a lot of win streak after win streak and it was piling up and uh, sometimes my opponent made a mistake, sometimes they scratched, sometimes they stupid themselves and sometimes they just left the game because I was playing too nicely and before even I caught the black, they just left the game. And they must be wondering how can I have a very low level account like level 4 account, level 5 account playing with a pool fanatic queue. It's just insane. Some people they don't know. That's why I tell you guys to always follow the official 8 ball pool Facebook page. You never know when they are going to do a special giveaway and then you're going to miss it out. So I recommend you guys to check the official 8 ball pool Facebook page every single day for at least one time. We keep on going up now level 5 and I'm showing you guys a few games and uh, sometimes you know I like to do that you know just keep tapping on the screen and it's just my favorite thing if you have already subscribed to my channel if you've been watching my videos for quite some time then you know exactly what I'm talking about and always guys do a nice break and my opponent was so unlucky to scratch and there you go a straightforward black to finish the game so we see we keep building up the cash we keep building up the coins and we're not taking any risk when I said we need level 20 with 2 million coins I meant you should play safe see we have 2,000 coins but we are still playing Moscow we are not going for yeah we couldn't go for Tokyo so even if I have 4,000 coins as you can see I'm still playing Moscow because I will go to uh, Tokyo as soon as I have 5,000 or more coins because if I lose one game of Tokyo I will get back to 2,500 which means I can still play Moscow table any other table I would like 
and there was some issue with my recordings and some recordings I have lost because uh, this uh, project was done over a period of like three months I think and uh, some recordings have been messed up so apologies for that so all the recordings that I could find I'm showing it to you guys that I had to play all the tables as you can see right now we have 23,000 coins and we're still playing Vegas table Like I said, you need to work hard. If you have better queue, you have a better chance of clearing the table because you know many opponents will not have a good queue and they will make a silly or a stupid break and then you will have to work hard and have to take some risk. And most of the time, when you're gonna take a risk, you're gonna either pot the black or you're gonna either scratch and that's the damn problem. Keep building coins to get to the uh, Jakarta table. But as you can see right now, we still, we have 50,000 coins we are not going to take the risk. The mini clip will immediately show you a Jakarta table. But when you lose the Jakarta table at 50,000, then you are broke. You are back to zero. So the thing is to keep playing a small table to collect more and more coins. See, again, 63,000, we go back to Vegas table. Because we know if we go to Jakarta table and we might get a uh, denial from the opponents, and we go down to 10,000 coins. So again, let me repeat myself. The first task is to get to level 20 with 2 million coins. It doesn't matter what is your win streak. It doesn't matter your win percentage. Just focus. Level 20, 2 million coins or more. If you have more, that means you were lucky to win lots and lots of games and you did not get many denial. So at level 12, we are top of the league, but this league is not a good league because it's only giving you a pool coin. But we don't need pool coins. You see, 73,000, we're still in the Vegas, and we're still going strong, and we're extremely getting lucky, and our win streak is building up nicely. 95,000, we still go to Vegas table because I know only I'm going to be playing Jakarta table unless and until I have the 100,000 coins or more. Finally, going to 100,000 coins, and now Miniclip was showing us a Toronto table, but we're not gonna risk all of our coins, we're gonna risk 50%. But I wouldn't recommend that because you know, some people, for them, it's very difficult to build coins, and I was extremely lucky to give a denial to our opponent. Again, going into the Jakarta, we have 153,000 coins. Lucky for us, it's our break, and our opponent also says good luck. And he made a silly mistake and now I have a red into the bottom right pocket. Natural angle to go up for the black and that was the end of it. Keep leveling up, keep building up the coins. You see, we're at top of the league with 20 win streak guys. This is so insane. 20 win streak by playing Vegas, Stables, Tokyo and even Jakarta. Finally, we are into the Cairo table for the first time and it's our break so you see at level 15 you will start going to a table above you so we had 500,000 coins we won one Cairo we got to the 750,000 so keep doing daily missions and keep opening those boxes uh, pro boxes elite and even the golden ones I don't know what they are called but the winning streak is building up and I'm so happy about it some people, you know, when they see it, low level player, this big win streak and we already got denial. So 21 win streak is gone. So see, when you go to the big tables, the level of gameplay, the difficulty level is going to keep going up. So you need to make sure that you don't make any mistake. That's why when you start from the bottom table and this, I wanted to go for a double bank shot to open the 15 at the bottom. And this became a triple bank shot and... That was a disaster but now look at this all the both the stripes are difficult in this situation i go for a safety shot this i want to talk about another thing is that sometimes you don't have to play passive you need to play defensive and it's called safety shot 
safety shot is you put your opponent in a difficult situation and he gives you a ball in hand and you just open up the cluster and his game is over. Simple as that. One good safety shot is gonna get you wins and Dubai is open, Shanghai is open. So we keep winning, we keep losing, but we keep staying on the Cairo table. And our friend Abdullah was so unlucky, thanks to the blue solid ball. The white is scratched on the black, is so unlucky. And uh, this is what happens when you are not in a good position to play black ball. That's why as soon as you make a good break, make sure the black ball is open and make sure you know where the black ball is available in which pockets and where you want the cue ball at the end. And that way you'll be able to do it. First game into Dubai and we lost. And we are down to 500,000 coins. And that's why we go back to the Cairo table. Because if we play Dubai again, we lose Dubai, we get in trouble and we go broke. And believe me, you don't want to go broke when you are at level so high as to 60. So we beat an air dog, level 94. We give him a denial, that's so nice. So I think I've lost a few games in the Cairo as well and we have fallen back to the Toronto table. And as you can see I had to play a safety shot and all you had to do was keep the cue ball on the left side of the table and he made a silly mistake of going for a passive shot. That's what I tell you when you see an opponent is having a difficult black just go for a safety shot. And I don't believe what happened and look where the blue ball is ended up. Remember the Cairo from the previous shot where Abdullah scratched with the help of a blue solid ball and this time the blue solid ball has come to hurt me with the city shot from myself and the backspin saved us but we almost scratched into the top center pocket i played lots of games i had no time to show you guys all the games and dubai was the very difficult table and i was frustrated and look at that 560,000 coins and i'm going into a dubai table against a level 51 and if I lose this, I'm down to 16,000 coins. This is a big risk, guys. Believe me, you don't want to take the risk. Trust me, when you take a risk, you're going to go broke. Sooner than later. I have been playing 8-ball pool for, what, 4 or 5 years now? Every time you risk all your coins, you lose it. Every single time. But this time I was extremely lucky to get a nice position and this was a clinical surgical denial and without any mistake and we get to the next game and now we have 1 million coins and a nice back spin to hold the cue ball and the opponent uh, just said that he had enough and he just left the game. 1.5 million coins we go back to the weight table but you see right now I am level 20 but I keep on going and I just want to keep giving him the denial uh, this is by no means easy look where the uh, blue stripe is and look where the black is and I was extremely lucky to move the black but the problem is the blue is still in trouble so I had to play some sort of a yolo shot so another thing you want is the yolo shot it means just close your eyes hit the shot and hope for the best at this point I want to talk to you guys that I should have stopped playing over here. Level 21, 24 pool cash and 2 million coins. Like I said at the beginning of the video, your goal should be to get to level 20 or 21 no problem and make sure you have 2 million or more coins for this trick to work. It's not a cheating, it's not hacks, it's a trick that will help you win lots of cash by only playing 10 minutes, 15 minutes or 20 minutes. I've seen people playing in Wapu 24-7 like morning, afternoon, evening, daily putting up 10 hours, 12 hours and at the end of the league only winning like 200 cash and the level is gone from like maybe if they're playing in a blue league or, or sorry they're winning like 100 pool cash and the level is gone from like level 40 all the way to level 200 in just one week and they have played for seven days without any break 
and they only want a hundred cash but with my trick you only have to play 10 minutes 15 minutes or 20 minutes every single week per week 20 minutes in seven days yet you will be able to win 50 cash if you are in a gold league or platinum or whatever the leagues are we will discuss that in the later part of this video that's how you actually win cash without having to stress yourself without having to play too much so look at level 18 he is so far away he's he has no idea what's going on how i went so up and but you see at this point we're only getting 3500 coins but we only have 2 million we don't want 3500 that's why i tell you after level 20 when the league ends you will be promoted to gold league or i don't know what's the name of that league but from there when you win you will start collecting 50 cash so now we're playing hard we're getting a denial in the paris table and i'm frustrated i lost a paris back to 1 million but i won a shanghai table again and level 26 so you see i kept on going i did not stop that was my mistake i don't know what was i thinking back then but uh, i just want to show you guys that you see i lost and i'm broke level 27 30 pool cash down to 59,000 or 60,000 coins which i told you like i said whenever you're gonna take risk sooner than later you will lose all your coins and that's what miniclip wants miniclip wants you to lose your coins and then we'll give you a crazy offer to buy coins and get back to the next table and lose again the buy coins lose again no that's not how it works now I'm at level 27 I have lost all my coins and now I'm in trouble and the league is not even changed yet so the league still has 64 hours left still I don't know what was I thinking but we lost the point of making this video is that you don't have to give up you still have 60,000 get back to the Vegas table put 10,000 on the line keep playing keep building up and learn from your mistakes now remember when you get to level 20 or 21 you have 2 million coins or even uh, 1.5 million 1.78 million just to stop wait for the league to change you get to the gold league when you see the first prize as a cash all the top three prizes as a cash then you start playing I will show you what to do let's get back uh, our coins first this right here this young lady is playing chess with us and she knows that we're in trouble and uh, as you can see right now she just gave a ball in hand which was a reason to take. and she had no other option but to give a ball in hand and look how I open the green a little bit of top spin make sure the green does part and now we can use again a top left side spin to go down the table easy black when you have good skill you can always make lots of coins but like i said if you don't have skill get back to practice offline table and gain some skills over time watch my videos watch other uh, youtubers the info youtubers and learn from them do lots of practice and hopefully you will be able to make it see slowly we're building up this guy has a nine win streak and what a terrible break that was see immediately i'm going to play a risky shot and now i know that this game is done A good use of left side spin and we avoided the scratch and a nice shot on the black and this guy had nine minute streak he made a turbo break he deserved the loss 207,000 coins we go into the Toronto table and this guy super just telling us let me win let me win and he actually had a nice chance 
instead of going for a middle pocket which was very easy he had an issue with his aim and uh, well technically he gifted us the game and I was extremely lucky to open the yellow and look how the yellow is going and uh, this was a very hectic shot I had to make sure that the, the white ball does travel a bit forward otherwise if you play without a top spin you will be very difficult on the black and then you will lose this game so each single shot you need to learn what type of a spin is needed to be played at what shot and which spin you need to use and that's how you're gonna actually win uh, lots of cash Never panic when you make a mistake, try to play a recovery shot and now you can see the gold league is where the fun begins. I have explained to you guys a lot that you see the gold league begins from level 20 and if you win the gold league you get 50 cash but the gold league is very small from level 20 to 24 so I recommend that you win the 50 cash actually 2 to 3 times if you win it only one time that means you're not playing smart, you're playing hard. The focus of this video is to tell you guys that you guys can actually win the cash by playing smart. Other people, they play hard like I told you, play 7 days, go from level 40 to 140 or 200 and only win like what, 100 cash. For 7 days playing hard and you only get 100 cash. But I am giving you an idea that you only have to play like 15 minutes, 20 minutes per week, per 7 days. And you keep winning these leagues again and again and again and by the time you you get to the diamond league you have a thousand plus cash for free and then you can open legendary queues or whatever you want to do with those cash so you can see level 28 if we win this we get 75 pool cash but the thing is you see right now it's 79 hours left into the league and that's something i want to explain it to you if you are playing hard and if you're at the top there is 79 hours left in the end of the league then there is someone is gonna come up and he's gonna beat you that's why my trick is to play in the morning of Monday like when the time is like 30 minutes left into the league or 20 minutes or 25 minutes that's when you attack that's when you get to the first position and don't give your opponent a chance to attack and play and get to the top win streak is gone we got a denial into the Cairo and again I'm taking a risk 1 million coin and I'm going for a Dubai table so you see something sometimes I get frustrated I get angry quickly and that's not what you guys should do I played a bad shot and the black does not go but Ahmed had a nice chance with a millionaire cube and a yellow ball was not into the pocket and an easy finish for us a gift for us we are level 30 now with 2 million coins we were supposed to be level 20 with 2 million now because we're playing some bad games and we are taking some more risk we are down to level 30 with 2 million coins and that's not good so back to back lots of the big games winning and uh, we were back in the winning track and we were back building up some nice coins for us Going into the Shanghai table and continuing our win streak. And once the momentum is built up, you can actually go into the Paris table as well. And now we are 6 million plus coins and uh, we are top of the league now. But you see, it's still is 65 hours remaining. Now, the second, the guest is at 1.8 million. The problem is, I am still not safe because everybody has. And look at this, I did not play and we only won 20 pool cash. What happened? Somebody else came up from Pakistan and level 26 and he had 20 million money. That's why I tell you to play a small table. In the beginning, I will explain it to you now how you can do this. So you see, we immediately open the account, we log into the account either Wednesday or Thursday or Friday. Try different days every time, just log in 
quickly go to London or Sydney table and either you win or you lose it doesn't matter just go into the table and so we won the London table now we go and check the league and you see the top guy level 32 is at 20,000 and we are still way below we are number 11 right now and there's still 5 days are remaining so at this point all you have to do is just log out from a pool that's it watch a video collect the cash that's another good thing you can see right now every 24 hours you can get one pool cash so 30 days 30 pool cash and so on again we're watching the video 71 hours to go watching the video collecting a cash so now we have 60 cash and still 71 hours to go uh, when you have small queues you will be opening lots of boxes and you'll be upgrading your queues with the coins not necessarily a bad thing but a very good thing i still kept on doing it i don't know why i had a pool fanatic queue i didn't want any other queue because that's a very nice queue very powerful queue and we got a denial into that dubai we're back to 2 million coins and uh, i just i wanted to play again to show that you see when you don't have a break and you ask any opponent to play again they know that it's gonna be your break and then you are gonna be in trouble a nice positional shot to get to the left side of the table and part the blood the reason I use the backspin to make sure we don't scratch we are now in the second position we go check the league the top guy is only 1.4 million but the problem is again and these 71 hours you see now 60 hours in the end and we are down to number three so people keep on playing down to eight minutes and uh, level 35 has 31 million so again i want to show you guys that that's why you don't play hard when they have so many hours left into the event I went to the parish table, took a risk, and it paid off. We did level up, and but we did manage to get to a third position. And now we are out of time, but we still have, I think, five minutes. And we still want to win one game. And somehow, my opponent just left the game and he gifted us the win. 7.6 million coins. And we are on a second level. But it's only time, two minutes are left. So we just log out. This was done on a Monday, 29th April, 8.57 a.m. So the league ends at 9 a.m. This time I logged in, still 87 hours to go, immediately going into a London table. So no matter when you log in, you log in on Wednesday, Thursday or Friday, you need to go into a small level table. Win or lose, it doesn't matter. See you again. 87 hours to go, small league, and uh, we just log out. As simple as that. So we log in again, 59 hours to go into the event or into the end of the league, and the first guy is at 16 million. It's not difficult, we can still make it, but we will just wait for the end of the league so we can attack at that point. At that point, our opponent has no chance. So I decided to play a Paris game instead of going to log out to try to make the deficit as less as possible and the last minute attack would be much much easy. So I scratched but then I got a chance to finish the game again. So just one game and we are on a second position with 5 million and the top guy has a still 16 million and you can see the platinum league is from level 25 to 34. So that's the important thing try to win this league at least one or two times i believe platinum league and the purple league or the pink league are the two very important league you can win 75 and 100 cash a lot of times back to back because the level difference is very much big in those leagues Ten million coins going back into the Paris table. Playing against doctors. All right. 
His name is Doctors, not Doctor, Doctors. And we gave denial to Doctors. Loving. And we just gifted the game to Loving, going for a safety shot. And that safety shot turned out to be a pot of the blank. Perfect. We lost a, an expensive table of 5 million coins. And uh, that was the expensive black. The most expensive black I ever potted. Congratulations to myself. And I'm telling everybody, learn from me. And I'm potting the black on the biggest expensive table. But, you know, you go back to the Paris table. You keep winning your coins back. You don't give up. And that's the strategy that everybody should be doing. Nice top spin. All right, the orange is by no means easy. So we just go for a safety. That's it. That was a fail safety, but I don't know how he messed it up. And now, thanks to the black ball. And uh, we are now back to the top of the table. The reason I'm playing expensive table again because I want to make sure that the, the guy on the second position does not take our cash. And this was one of the nicest break I've done. And the 15 is open and the black is open. And look at his solids. It's all messed up. Then all he can do is smile back, you know. 17 million coins. We are 30 million winning. 29 minutes to go. I don't think our level 43 player from Indonesia has any chance whatsoever. Still a 73 win percentage for our account. Not bad. We have 86 cash. And I just kept on going. This is what happens when you play hard. And when you know that the second player or the third position player can actually play. I wanted to make sure I am straight on the orange and that was by no chance a straight shot but he knew that the game is over he just left so 35 million winning and you can see in the platinum league it's from level 25 to 34 like I said before but we are still level 36 so we are already moving into the next league and again, you see, but this time, 24 minutes to go, the first guy has 106 million winning. So all we can do is just play one game and try to get the 25 pool cash. So just like that, we are on the second position right now by just winning one Paris table. Well, somehow somebody showed up and I don't believe it. Like, how can somebody get to 113 million in just 24 minutes? It's just unbelievable. Because when we started playing, it was only 24 minutes remaining as you as you can go back and check but this guy somehow within 24 minutes or I think 20 minutes getting 113 million winning so sometimes this thing happens you know sometimes people who some cheaters or I don't know what to call them but they show up and I've also got 
the Abu Dhabi ring without spending a single cash as you can see. Ninety seven hours to go and still it's very easy league. But we're not gonna be playing right now. We're gonna be waiting for a last moment. So on a Monday morning we're playing a I think this is the moonlight event. Without spending a single cash, nine minutes streak into the moonlight event, giving people denials after denials and we're extremely getting lucky, you know. 36 minutes to go, we're going to the parish table because we know there's one game is going to get us to a first position. It's not our break. So it wasn't our break and this guy played a very very unique shot on the black and uh, I don't know how he survived that. So we take a bigger risk and we go into an even bigger table and we try to give our friend a deal, a quick denial. So I tell you guys to watch and learn from this denial. A perfect denial and a perfect black and that's why I tell him to learn from me son. Just one game, look at that. One winning game and you see he's telling us to play again because you know that it's going to be his break and he's going to get up a coin so that's why whenever you make a break you win and if somebody says to play with him just don't do it because it's going to be his break you're going to lose. 10.05 million winning and we got the 100 cash and now we are back on track to a 600 cash. Winning a moonlight event with a 511 points and getting the ring without having to spend a single cash. Five days to go into the event. The top guy is with one million only. We we'll wait for five days. We we'll will attack in the last minute. That's how you make lots of cash. This was the trick I showed you guys, and I'll also show you guys that lucky shots are very, very lucky. You need to be extremely lucky to get them because a golden circle or a yellow circle is a very small circle, and uh, you will be very, very lucky to win five cash, man. And this time we have a situation here. Like I said, this trick doesn't work every single time. You saw that the guy had a 1 billion plus winning and he was playing definitely hard. And we don't want to do anything with that. And we skip this week and we wait for the next week to try our trick again. In the meantime, we just log in. We watch a video, we collect the cash, we play a lucky shot. And we again land on the yellow circle, so back to back two days in a row, we are winning two lucky shots. And there's two hours to go and this guy has gone to 73 level and look at this. 3 billion plus winning, that's crazy. We just skip that and we come back next week. And you see it's Thursday, so I logged in on Thursday morning, go to a London table. And this guy says you can win now and he just left. So open the league. And Mr. Khalid has a 46.15 million, which means that we still have 49 minutes to either go play hard and chase him or we settle for 25 pool cash. Now this is a very difficult situation and you will need to think hard. Do you want to play hard and level up fast? And get the 100 pool cash 
or do you want to play just one game or maybe two games get to a between winning of seven or eight million and end up with the 25 full cash and try next week now it's up to you you want to level up fast you want to make less cash but consistently you make more and more cash or you just want to sit down wait and have patience like i said if you don't have patience you will not be able to make lots of cash from this trick so sometimes you're gonna have to give up and go try next week so like i said this trick does not work 100% of the time there's a clickbait in the title but everybody does the clickbait and even I do the clickbait but most of the time it works only sometimes you find some psycho players you know they just go nuts and they play a lot and they waste their time and they waste your time as well this time we're landing on the blue we're getting a thousand cash no no big deal no problem we still land on something one hour to go, we still got it 93 million and we decided to at least go for a number second or third position. We have lots of coins, so we bought a nice queue. And our opponent has a problem, he potted the ball in the wrong pocket and without me going for a pot, he just left. We don't want to go chasing hard level players again back to London table winning the London table and actually not winning the ring at this point again four days to go level 37 is at the top watch a video get a cash come back again 26 minutes to go and the top guy is just 7.15 million winning so all we have to do is just one game or two games actually well if you want to go for a Paris table you have to win two games if you're going for a expensive table which is five million table i'll have to call it the expensive table for myself because i still didn't forget i put the black and lost that important five million coins oh right away this guy is going hard on us you're going down and we just get my dinner see some people they like to talk a lot and just two games and we are at the top of the table but I just wanted to keep on playing and this shot was so unbelievable I don't know how I messed it up the goal was to open the orange and put the purple we didn't put it so we lost next game into the Paris we didn't have to put the black the opponent left and seven minutes to go we had 15.15 million winning again 100 pool cash so level 40 and we are at a 403 pool cash and we also have a nice Havana Championship ring as well. Going back to the London table again, doing the same thing again and again. It's the same process. Go to London table or a Sydney table or a Moscow table, it's up to you. And to our surprise this time, we also win a ring. So it's a good thing, you know, it's a positive thing. You play on the table, you get the ring. It's a good thing on your profile. So nine minutes to go, the top dude is with nine million winning and uh, all we have to do is just win one game. And uh, we went into our expensive tempo game. We found a, a level 121 player. He was messed up on his last shot and uh, he just gave us a chance to finish the game quickly. Still five minutes to go into the end of the league and we are a 1 million above our friend who's in the second position for a easy 100 pool cash. 3 minutes 54 seconds to go. I don't think he's gonna be ready for that. The level, uh, the second position player thought that this, this is over, he won the 100 pool cash. Well, we striked on the very last moment and we just won. Monday 17 June 8.56 a.m. as you can see right now so we started in April and we are ending up in June so this was like I said this is a three months operation three months project and you can see we want a hundred pound cash this time went to the Sydney we lost we came back to the league table the same thing again and again again going for a lucky shot 
almost ending up on a five cash, but never mind. We ended up in the elite box. And when I were to go 211, we did the top guy, and so we come back again to the next week. 29 hours to go. Again, we go into the Sydney table. So I made sure I make a big video to show you guys that it's very easy to make the cash. 17 minutes to go. The top dude is at 20 million, and look at this. For the first time, I'm playing in a Mumbai table. We only had 20 million coins and now we're down to 5 million. We are so lucky to get a break. And the opponent is a level 116 player. And it's a do or die situation here. We have to win it by any means necessary. A slow backspin shot and we're extremely lucky not to scratch into the middle pocket. And just like that, we're at the top. Open the champion Mumbai champion box. A very lucky champion box actually. 14 minutes to go. And 037 would be thinking, what just happened? Where did he come from? And that's it, we just log out. This was done on a Monday morning, 1st July. And there you go, we got another 100 cash. So we started in April, we're ending in July. 600 cash so it took me three months to make 600 cash from just one account imagine if you have 10 accounts or 20 accounts or whatever and you guys will be able to make lots of cash all for free so I hope you guys enjoyed this video now if you have any questions I recommend you guys to watch the video again as you can see five days to go we'll just wait we'll just log out we come back on a Monday morning uh, one hour or 30 minutes before the end of league we will see what's going on and we'll just play a one or two game and we'll just win the catch I don't know how the video is too long but I showed you guys what type of mistakes I made and what type of things you can avoid uh, otherwise you will end up in the same way as I ended up now I believe that if you follow the trick carefully within level 30 you can make 600 gold cash I made a huge mistake in getting bro broke uh, at level 30, otherwise we would have a 600 pool cash by the time we ended up at level 30. So drop a comment down below and guys give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done it and hit the bell icon so you get the notifications right on time. And again if you guys have any questions, any comments, my whatsapp number is in the description. You can contact me on my WhatsApp, and on my Twitter, on my Instagram, Facebook. All the links are in the description. Just drop a comment down below if you have any question. But please watch the video twice and I think it will answer all your questions. I have shown you guys the trick again and again and again. And that's how we have come to a 600 pool cash. Take care guys. Have a nice day. I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out.